All right, the man in black have finally let me go. That wasn't a pleasant experience. Let's see what all I've missed. Oh, damn. This should make for a fun video. Hey everyone, PJ here. And I wanted to make a video on the Illuminati situation, but there are so many details about it. Plus, the situation has been talked about to death at this point, and I'd just be regurgitating stuff you've already heard a million times over. So, all I'm gonna say is, Blair's a bitch, case closed. But, I know of a situation that doesn't take an hour and a half to talk about, and hasn't been talked about to death. That is, the Colleen Ballinger situation. If you don't know who that is, you might know her alter ego, Miranda Sings. Basically, Colleen has been coming under fire recently for allegedly grooming a fellow YouTuber named Adam McIntyre. Adam made a video a few years back detailing his experience with Colleen, to which she allegedly launched a smear campaign against Adam, sending her NPC audience after him. And then, everyone pretty much forgot about this little fiasco, until recently when more evidence against Colleen came out and people began looking deeper into the situation. Basically what happened is Colleen had sent inappropriate texts to Adam and even sent him her underwear. Keep in mind that Adam was 14 at the time and Colleen was in her 20s. Your Twitter account is making me laugh so much. Oh my god, that makes me laugh. I want to send him something. Do you want the bra, Adam? Adam, do you want the bra and panties? Tweet right now. Oh my god. Yeah, Adam, let me know what you want. He's in Ireland. Hi, Adam. Adam has already made several videos about Colleen, and he does a better job covering this subject than I can, so I highly recommend watching his videos. I'll link his channel in the description, as well as some other videos that call out Colleen. Colleen also hangs out with people like James Charles, Shane Dawson, and Gabby Hanna. Yeah, not the most desirable people. For those of you that don't know, James Charles sent sexually explicit texts to a 16-year-old. Shane Dawson pressured a teenage girl to strip an Omega on Gabby Hanna. Well, she's Gabby Hanna, but I digress. There's also Cody Rance, who initially sided with Colleen during this situation, defending Colleen and calling out Adam. That is, until she had her own experience with Colleen. Cody then apologized to Adam and later deleted her entire existence off YouTube out of shame. It also doesn't help that people tweeted about Colleen as well. If Cody keeps speaking, I will make an hour-long video about how they asked me and other minors to be characters in their sexually violent fanfiction. I hadn't even turned 13 yet. Here's another one. Cody is a 32-year-old predator trying to pick up vulnerable, underage victims from the situation. From everyone's stories, Cody seems the most effed up, but they just get a pass for some reason. Hold Cody accountable. So yeah, Cody isn't exactly an angel in this scenario. You know who else isn't an angel in this scenario? Colleen's best friend, Corey. Hey everyone, it's Corey. I just wanted to record a voice memo because I have like a lot to say. Um, but first of all, I just want to say that like I love all of you. Like you uh, honestly mean so much to me. Oh my god. Um, oh my you have god. no idea. I know that it sounds weird because I'm a full grown adult and some of you are younger. Oh my god. And blah blah blah. Oh but, my god. Um, like, I honestly think of all of you, like, as my best friends. Like, I don't have friends. Oh, God. And I'm a loner and I'm a loser. Like, my only friend is Colleen. Oh and, like, I... It's so comforting to, like, go online and talk to you guys and and feel, like, loved and cared about because I love and care about all of you. Um, and I trust you and, like... I want to go more in depth about Corey, but sadly there isn't a lot of information about him since he deleted his Twitter account. Yeah, that's not a good sign. Something I almost forgot to mention is that Cody and Colleen were part of a group chat that Adam was hosting for a Q&A video that he was going to make. Most of the questions being asked were basically stuff you'd expect to see in a Q&A video. Colleen, however, decided to ask some rather unsavory things. Things like, are you a virgin? And what's your favorite position? Keep in mind that Adam was a minor at the time. And some of you might be jumping to Colleen's defense saying, Oh, well, maybe she just said these as a joke. There are certain things you should never joke about. And this is one of those things. Dark humor has limits. And the thing is, Adam McIntyre isn't even Colleen's only victim. Like early in this video, I'm going to have Duck Bear read some of these tweets showing Colleen's predatory behavior. 
Colleen Ballinger pretending to be on a date with a nine-year-old and telling him to reach into her pants for a snack, making the child very uncomfortable towards the end as everyone laughs at him. WTF, WTF, WTF. Colleen Ballinger bringing a child on stage to act out giving birth. Colleen, pretending to be Miranda's uncle in this segment, says that she likes little girls, making a pedophilic comment. And Colleen says the girl smells fertile and gets between her legs. My god, how do these persons sleep at night? Yeah, Colleen also said some pretty messed up shit in the past like this. There are leaks all over my house right now. Brand new house, by the way. And every time it rains, it leaks. Just like a teenage girl's <laughs> I can't believe I'm gonna say this. It leaks so much like a little girl's creases when she watches me. <laughs> like a little girl's creases when she's watching those strange little boys on musically. I can't believe it. Side note, something that PJ forgot to mention is that a majority of Colleen's viewers are very young and impressionable children. Colleen's aware of this, and yet she still makes overly sexual jokes and thumbnails, and whether it's her intention or not, she's conditioning these children to thinking that toxic behavior is okay when it's not. And I could go on and on about all the horrible shit she's done. I haven't even mentioned her attempting to film a naked child on the beach, which I will not be showing for obvious reasons, and her starting a fake fundraiser. I've unfortunately been reached out to by a couple people who've been involved in Colleen Ballinger's childhood cancer fundraisers behind the scenes. I will not share the texts that I have received because unfortunately some of the people are not even here anymore. But there is so much shady shit that is being talked about right now that will come out about her childhood cancer fundraisers. And I would just like Colleen Ballinger to please, please post the receipts of every year the exact amount of money she donated to the exact organizations. That's all I ask. Please. That is all I ask. That is all I ask. Because the money goes into her bank account before it gets donated. And it sits for months. If I can ask for anything after everything I've been sent, can I need Colleen Ballinger, please. I've donated. Thousands of people have donated. We're talking hundreds of thousands of dollars every single year. Please show the receipts. You're not being accused of anything. Please show the receipts of every single year the exact amount of money that you donated to the exact amount of organizations and the amount of money that you personally donated as well. I don't think anything else needs to be said at this point. This bitch needs to be stopped. But don't just take my word for it, I strongly encourage you to do your own research on this subject and come to your own conclusion. Like I said before, I've linked Adam McIntyre's channel in the description as well as a bunch of other videos talking about this situation. And as always, my name is PJ, and I'm gonna go get ice cream. You ain't never gonna slow me down, cause I feel alive now.